I think the hype recently is on generative AI. And we have a few hundred use cases, potential use cases that we are looking at. But we want to be really clear about our fiduciary duty, the security, the safety, and being able to protect um, our investors and our customers. So the use of Gen AI will come round, but we need to make sure that it's balanced with the best tooling we have, risk governance framework, and customer experience. And that, that balance has to be absolutely perfect. For cryptocurrency at HSBC, especially following the JPEX scandal, which was Hong Kong's largest financial fraud to date, uh, is HSBC taking up cri cryptocurrency client as clients? Um, so we, our appetite on cryptocurrency hasn't changed. I think we've talked about this publicly before. We do not have an appetite to trade directly in cryptocurrencies at all. We don't think there's enough education or awareness around that, and we need to make sure that we help our investors and protect our investors, uh, our individual investors as well. But Hong Kong has also made it clear that they want to um, become a virtual assets hub. And I actually welcome that as a bank because we have been, exactly because of the issues that you mentioned earlier, we have been calling for better regulatory framework. And Hong Kong's step into introducing this regulatory framework is a welcome move for us in the bank. And we want to make sure that that continues um, in as many jurisdictions as possible. So now Hong Kong has a licensing regime. And and it's very clear about the principles of same activity, same risk, and therefore same rules. And we need that more and more in order for virtual assets to flourish. Otherwise, it's just not safe enough for investors.